for helping the, me with the shared document thing. Oh, the shared document. Let's hope. I think that's a good idea if it, if we use it. Yeah. It, um, there is a um, conservation advisory council group that I'm created. Thank you very much. Um, this is all. And then um, I guess now that we have Microsoft Outlook and whatever, it's uh, it's like SharePoint. It's SharePoint. So you can have you can create folders and you can put the document with folders. So I'm taking all your minutes, I'm sticking them in a minutes folder, so that as opposed to um, you know multiple emails, okay, you can just like go into a folder. The agendas are in a folder. The minutes are in a folder. And different topics that we're talking about are in separate folders. But yes, that makes things more um, <laughs> You're waving to the screen, but the, the camera. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gotten me in trouble before. Just mm -hmm. cover the important parts of that. Oh, uh, no, well, you expect something. Oh, nothing less. But Tony, the fact that Tony Corrado did the um, drawing, the drawing. Yeah, that I did not know. I should not know he was that talented. A lot of things. I multi say there's a lot of things you should know. Multifaceted. Like, like when you first posted that. Uh, later. Yeah. We got just <laughs> and you had to do the mask. Like, oh, who did this? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, three minutes after. I think Ryan just stepped out for a moment. So well, but, we don't have a quorum. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a quorum yet. We don't have a quorum. Oh, well, one, two, three, three, four. Four. Yeah, four out of four. eight. Four. Oh, Josh. Oh, how's that? Josh is on his way. Josh is on his way. Michael Hare's on line. Oh, good. That's right. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right? Okay. We can we could start it like we just um, all right, we have a motion to start. Yes. I make a motion that we begin the meeting. Thank you. And, all right, second. So uh call to order um minutes from February. Everything's okay. Minutes, thank you very much, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Again. Um, oh, for January minutes and February minutes. We had changes in January and everything is. And I sent a minor change for February. Oh, okay, fine. Then we have a minor change for February. All right. Um, so can we accept January now officially? I think so. Yeah, motion to accept yes. January's minutes, great. And then we're going to wait for the change for February's minutes to accept that one. I did that. You did it already? Yeah, it was oh, basically, the, I can tell you what the change was. Um, I think that uh, Linda had just written the sentence of there's 30, there 36 trees got taken oh, right. away from yes. the grant. Yes. And I just corrected, they know those 36 just were changing species. Gotcha. Or, All right. Oh, so I think. Yeah. So I think we're good in accepting what January and February minutes, right? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? Yeah, great. All right, good. Uh, certificates of appointment Tracy Britt is signed, from my understanding. So everyone is good to go. Um, and that's it. All right, that's the update. Uh, the share drive, there is, um, I sent out a step-by-step uh, -step outline today. Um, if you go into Outlook under there's a, under groups conservation advisory council, if you select that, we are all in that group, and then you can go from there. It's a little three dots. Click on site. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. And um, click on site, and from there 
you will see different file folders. You will see file folders, and inside those file folders are various documents, such as the um, agenda, and minutes, as well as different topics. And please feel free. I think you all have edit access, so you create your own file folders. Um, I think the, like I said, the advantage is that you don't have to scroll through multiple emails. Um, also, like what Vanessa is doing, when you make comments on a um, document, we've all. Was I supposed to do that? Yeah, that's good. No, okay. that's perfect. That's what for. There were a lot of documents, so I didn't know which one to work on. But that's this is that tutorial was super helpful. So there you go. Yay. Um, as Vanessa makes comments on the document, like I got an email that said that you make comments on the document. Okay, cool. Okay. So that was I got a notification. So that's a good thing. So it's it's similar, I guess, to like a Google Share Drive. It's just that it's not Google Share Drive, sure. and it's like our it's our own intra net that we should be using. I think as just going forward, as sense. opposed to Google Share Drive. Um, so that's that. Everyone, mm -hmm. that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Great. Um, um, and then. The last order of business, uh, housekeeping details is uh, to move the potential April meeting because right now it is set for the first Tuesday, so April 4th, correct? And that there is a Partners for Climate Action um, event happening on that same day. So, um, to, we have a, so there are people who want to attend that, um, so there's a conflict. Um, can we move this to another date? Do I have any suggestions? Mm. And apologies for that. So no, I think it, yeah. it happens. Uh, don't worry, yeah. I, um, it looks like an exciting event. I have no idea oh, right. to attend, and I think it would be the CAC to just create more connectivity. Yeah. So I will second that. Okay. Great. Yeah. How about Monday the 3rd? Or is, is that a common council the first no, Monday? No, right, thank you. Uh, how about Monday the 3rd, the day prior, or the day after? When, or well, the day after is Passover. It's the 10th, yeah. Um, you said the 3rd? Yeah, Monday. Monday the 3rd, or the following week, the 11th, or the 10th. Well, the 11th is planning board. So I you could do the 12th or the 13th of the following week. The third we're working. On. I like the third. The third. Do do okay, great. All right. So um, in the minutes, then. So the next meeting is Monday. Out the April third, six p.m. Same time, same bad time. Same bad channel. Same bad channel. Great. Different city hall. Great. All right. Good. Uh, so our star. We are funny. <laughs> it really doesn't take much, you know. It really doesn't take much. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to hold off on Mr. Ryan Wallace. So, um, okay, so tree ordinance. So similar to um, what Vanessa had started doing, Hillary put together. There's there's several documents in yeah. that folder. There's a tree ordinance folder now. There's several documents on it. So. Um, I don't know. My own personal recommendation is to read all of them and then take the best, and just so you understand of what's going on there. And I do, I guess, what Vanessa's doing. Uh, we could we could pick one as a template, like Hillary put one in there. We could use that as a guideline. It probably isn't a bad idea to read them all and to take the best of all of them, and then we can combine that into one. You know, combine everyone's comments into one document. So, how does that sound? I think that sounds good. Okay. Unfortunately, last time I didn't do it as tracking. Now we can going forward, we can track the changes. I just yes. highlighted everything I changed yeah. in green and said, those are my changes. I've yeah. done that too. Yeah. 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 Also, if you if you just look at it online and hit edit, I think it will track the changes for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to download it. So I think if you just like look at it online on the website, yeah. that's TBD yeah. to be confirmed, but I believe it's like similar to Google Docs in that way. I didn't change anything right. in specific so that we could discuss everything, but I just made all my points in the comments. And you make comments, or yes, or similar, we can all do that too, just make comments. And it, it like I said, it sent me notifications that you make comments. Cool. So that's great. I, so, I think if you do the editing, it changes it directly, but if you do the reviewing, then it tracks the changes. All right, so there oh. you go. Don't review yeah. Oh, technology. And you can have the comments also separately, but cool. Those are the two. 
Wir sind ganz schön heiß. Wir haben es mal gelernt. Wir haben es mal gelernt. All right. Drinks wasted. So that's everyone's homework for next month as well. So thank you, Hillary, for starting the ball rolling and for Vanessa and I. And I, I have to admit, I'm behind on my own stuff too. Next, um, tree grants. So, where do we want to start on that? Uh, Britt is not here today to talk about that one, but Hillary, do you want to, Michael? I can, I can speak what I know about um, Britt's grants, okay. that she has made progress and, and marked areas that were um, approved by DPW for getting trees, and now it's in the, at the point of um, uh, making sure that the, um, they'll be cleared by Big Safe New York. Um, and, but that aspect of it is up to the contractor that was, is being hired to plant the trees. Um, but I think that she is um, pretty well set on that. And we, we had one more tree to allocate and we got one more person <coughs> writing us an email that said, we want a tree on Clinton Street. So it, it sounds like all are accounted for. Okay, so all trees are accounted for. I believe so. I, you know, Britt, Britt can um, amend the minutes <laughs> from, she had to be um, away today. Um, and I'm sorry, you said also that um, it's been up, it's been cleared for National Grid all the current trees? No, 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 they haven't been cleared yet. Okay. No, that task of getting them cleared by National Grid okay. is up to the contractor. Okay. And so they also don't want to do it too many, like a couple months in advance, because then they have to do the tickets all over again. You get a two week window or something. So um, they, they might have sent a map for pre clearance just to make sure that you know it's a design plan. Okay. But I, I don't know. Okay. I can't speak for Britt on that. Do you know if we need it? Do we need any other sort of resolutions on this, the contractual resolutions, or is that a done deal? I think that there was there was a resolution that Britt had written an email to desperate. you about. I think the council's accepted the money, but I think we need another resolution to authorize the contract with the contractor. So then we'll put that together for the March meeting. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it. I won't put your name on that. So yeah, you, you can put it right next. <laughs> and. Um, is are you ready to hear about the DEC grant? Okay, go for it. Sure. Okay, yes. the DEC grant. Michael was also in that meeting. Um, it was basically different, a different meeting than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to have a lot more to do with the logistics of the um contract, but it ended up being about um the trees themselves and planting and and selecting. So we got um approval to go ahead and um, those 36 trees that needed to change um, uh, to come up with a new list of trees that we, we want to plant and um, run that by our um, regional forester, Tyler mm -hmm. Levy. And then, um, then we can write an RFP for that. And that RFP will be to um, nurseries and uh, suppliers that will um, supply the trees, plant the trees, mulch, and guy wire the trees oh, along great. that stretch. They need to be um, have stakes and wired. Um, who writes? I'm sorry, who writes that RFP? Um, I think that would probably be me. It's actually already mostly written. So yes. we just have to amend the one that we used when we submitted the application. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. That's true. That our, yeah, we did because we, to get our um, bids, right, so we just. Yeah, we had to get estimates before we submitted. So we basically wrote the RFP already. We'll just amend it with the new quantities, basically. Right. And um, Michael, you might have something to add um, from that meeting. Wait. Wait, hold on a second. Oh. Does that RFP then need to go through the council again as, as through as well? Or um, I'll look back at the resolution that we just passed, but I I'm imagining not. Does it need to go through legal? No, 
No, our our piece typically don't need to go through that. Okay. Once we we'll, it will we'll go back to the council again once we have <clears throat> the bids back and we choose right. who gets it. Yeah. Right. Before it comes oh, back. okay. Right. Yeah. So we so it goes out there without going through the council. But when you get the bids back and approve it, yeah, it goes through the council. Okay, yeah. fine. I mean, we just have to keep aware of that in terms of time and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, there were some changes to the budget that um, uh, Michael and Rip worked out and got into Grants Gateway. Thank you. Yeah. So the total uh, award amount is slightly lower than what had originally been awarded because of the variety of trees are less expensive than the ones that we're getting now. So the, the total cost decreased a little bit by about a few thousand dollars. So the award amount will be like 46 versus 49. Um, but it will we'll still have a very po well populated area. Mm -hmm. And for people who are not aware, so these trees are going on Harry Howard. These are the Harry, Harry yes. Howard yes. trees, right? Yes. Okay, great. And uh, the next steps uh, will be to have a meeting with, um, it can be a Zoom meeting, um, but with stakeholders like a uh, fireman's home, I think we, it would be good to have somebody from the school mm -hmm. represented, city hall, um, um, DEC, Forrester, and DPW. We might also bring a youth department in yeah. As well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, I apologize. Yeah. The the STEM teacher at the um, elementary yeah. school, I, maybe still on maternity leave, but she is someone to identify. I have her contact. Oh, good. Um, but she's someone who I think would be able to like connect the kids to that and be there for a very long time for years to come to right. create like a long term, long term yeah. right. you know, and relationship. Who sets up that Zoom meeting? Um. I, I think, uh, did you name me the administrator? <laughs> I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do we, it. We're sharing I responsibilities. Don't, I don't yeah. want to overstep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, between over myself, over Hillary, and Brett, and one of, one of us all make the arrangements, yeah. All right, fine. Uh, I'll put it on the agenda. We'll follow up there next month. Anything else? Um, there might also be a teacher at the high school. Yes, there is one. We talked about him, I think. So, so yeah, can you share that information to Hillary so make sure everyone gets invited? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, the contract uh, is currently circulating within the state. So um, well, our edits were accepted and it will come back to us in about a month. And once we have the contract, then we can do the official press release. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's holding us up on them getting that release so. out. Okay. Even though people know. Yeah. <laughs> Even though there was already a piece about it. <laughs> All right. Good. Anything else? Not for me. No. Um, heat pumps, just so you know, uh, Marie, who's taking a little bit of a break from the CAC right now, um, Marie and I were on a heat pump meeting uh, a few weeks ago that there is a uh, campaign that's happening. Um, basically, there's a scoping document that I'm going through, filling it out. We sent it to we have to upload it to them. We have to pass a resolution that says that we are joining the heat pump countywide campaign. Then we go out and try to get people to sign up for heat pumps. Um, it's fairly straightforward. And we're, there's templates that we're just using. There are a couple of um, questions, like the vendor partner, New Lebanon used Rycor. Does anyone have any issue with Rycor as a vendor for heat pumps? Anyone know? Um, I went to the meeting, the countywide meeting oh. that was a Zoom meeting, and um, it was very interesting. Both of the vendors that presented were fantastic. Um, okay, I have a link to that. I'll share that. Link yeah, to that. It, was, to that. it was really an interesting meeting, and um, I meant to ask her for a link to that too, because I think it explains so much about the different varieties. Oh. Of uh, uh, solutions you and you can put together to be more energy efficient, even if you can't go 100% heat pump. It was really well done. Is that, oh, is that like a 
pamphlet, brochure, something like a printout that I can hand out at Earth Day stuff? They have them. They have them. They send them. I will send. I will forward it to you once we get. Once we get like the okay and we're part of the campaign, they have promotional materials Perfect. that we can put out there. So yeah, well, that's the plan is to have this prepared for Earth Day. Wonderful. Um, speaking of which, they are asking also for other people who are on the project team. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> that's part of the question. Like how like one question leads to like I accountability on the second, right? Now, yeah. You know? <laughs> Isn't so, that your trick? So how would you like to be part of the um, campaign to help promote fly, put out flyers? Um, I can definitely hold down a table at the Earth Day event okay. on behalf of the CAC. When is the date? April 22nd, Saturday. Yes, uh, we have a table at the farmer's market on April 22nd on um, Saturday, yes. So I can't do that event in the morning, but okay. I can hold, I think they overlap a bit too, yes. but I can, I have my own table. Oh. We can... by, by Earth Day by the waterfront. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Am I incorrect? I thought I had heard that beginning of April, the Wednesday farmer's market was back in the park. Because no? yeah. the weather was getting nicer, so I was going to just add a date on the... Oh, I mean, I, I'll yeah. I'll check the the Wednesday the calendar. Thanks. Maybe, yeah. Um, okay, because it, it asked for like a project team, so I need other people. Mm -hmm. Anyone else out there in the uh, in TV land might be interested in being on this project team for heat pumps? Don't get too excited. I don't know what it wants. All right. Well, you can put me down to um, hand out flyers <clears throat> at the farmer's market. Is it okay to walk around and hand them out? You don't have to have a table? Yeah. Right. You can or get, just bust it. Print pile and see if you just keep them on everybody's tables. Oh, true. true right? True. And this way it doesn't matter where they are, just grab them. Well, that's true, too. Although, also, yeah. those like big clips, you know, you can clip them into the tents. Kind of like a little yeah. signage. And then people can just take them if they want. This, this is what's going to happen. Clamps. I just need to put down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yes. by the door. And <laughs> you're only allowed in if you sign in. Yes, <laughs> great. <laughs> great. Anyone else? No? Turkle patch? No? Great. Me down as well. I'll stop there by the go. table and then that's There we go. We can, you know, back and break and stuff. And Marie might be back by then, too. So mm -hmm. it's going on there, too. Great. Chris always running around. Uh, we'll do, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. There you, you don't go. come ahead with me. Yes. And so, hey, by the way, keep, hey, keeping that in mind, too, if we have people to work that table at the at the farmer's market on uh, on the 22nd on Earth Day, that would be great too. So um, I cannot do it, but other that's I have cookies in it for I have cookies to bake. I have, God forbid people eat an apple instead. Target Health Awareness Month is over. Eat an apple, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm telling you, something about this room. <laughs> That's my marketing yeah, stick. It's, it's the giggle juice that they have in the hallways. Oh. <laughs> All right, giggle juice. Here we go. Don't put that in the mats. Nope. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, so last month we had a discussion. Uh, I'm sorry, roll almost, almost to you. Um, we had a discussion at Oakdale. Who's, who, is, who is asking? Oh, I think that is, uh, that's passed. I think they found other sources of funding. So that ask is probably. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I... Well, okay. I mean, I don't know. A lot happens every month. Uh, people come and go so quickly around here. Um, so the request from Friends of Hudson U is no longer a request? I don't know. You'd have to speak to, oh. you know, Peter Fender, I think, okay. probably. And I, I didn't speak on any of that, but um, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll circle back with Peter then. I mean, when was it? It was going to happen in April? April 29th, yes. Um, and also May 20th? Yes. All right, so let me circle back with Peter then and we'll see if it's still. That'll be one of the fall time. <laughs> well, you know, I want to make a. Would it? Be appropriate to make a proposal in case they do. If they need, if they still need money, then yes. 
Okay, so I would like to make a proposal that they were asking for straight up funds of $500. I think it would be more in our um, our mission and, and what we do to not turn over $500. That, that would cause a whole big deal to do, you know, we'd have to go to the common council and ask to transfer money and do all this. But it would be, does this make sense within our purview to say we will donate 10 trees and we can buy 10 trees from our budget and give them to the project? I, I think that is what the money was going to be going towards was materials like trees. And currently, I think we're just working with little DEC bare root trees that they see. Mm -hmm. So like very... Right. tiny mortality rates are you know yeah. intense with the deer and everything so i mean i think that would be really desirable you know if there was like space for larger trees to everything right we get a few bald trees yeah so yeah. if you if would it, is this something that we would need to vote on as a group and if you speak with peter then you know that we're pre-authorized to all right. I mean, well, let me speak to Peter, and then we'll have another meeting April third, and then that will that give us enough time? Yeah, I think so. Because there's another planting oh, in May okay, as well. Planting won't happen until May twentieth. Uh, the first day is just going to be like clearing the, the space of you know the plants, so that we're covering the space. So the proposal is five hundred dollars worth for X number of dollars or trees. Well, I I don't know. We can discuss the oh. the amount. I just I just was saying that it would be easier to give them a gift in kind that is actually what our budget is for trees yeah um and uh we would right. go get the trees and bring them over and have a shovel it looks like in the in the budget that i think was distributed last time four hundred dollars is listed for in their budget for but those are smaller trees you're saying the smaller trees yeah and then there's other soils that would be a big one and the coordinator fee sets. well if you have extra trees we just still plant them yeah. So, yeah, we're scaling back from last year on, on the trees. Uh, I think last year we planted like 125. I think this year we have budgeted for like 50. Uh -huh. um, of those, the, the tiny little ones. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me let me talk to Peter. Let's see if it's still um, if the need is still there, and then uh, we can put together a proposal then for next month. Um, in the proposal, well, the current proposal is a donation of trees in, in, in kind uh, for X number of dollars, and we can put together the trees. And All right. Just a note in the nuance it's not Friends of Oakdale Lake who's doing the project this year, it's Friends of Hudson Youth. Yeah. Gotcha. Last year it was Friends of Oakdale Lake. Mm -hmm. They're still partners, it's just under different technicalities. Okay, good. So, all right, having said that, now the next item is the um, is an ask for a project management fee for a street tree planting. So there is the current project of X. Uh, maybe you can help me out here, Hillary. Uh, for the um, which this is the D, this isn't the DC. This is the uh, this is the partners for climate change. Yes. Okay, so the partners for climate change. I am actually. Thank you. Thank you. Um, partners for climate action. Yes. Um, for the uh, for the work being done in terms of finding the trees and and locating the locations for the trees and doing all the grunt work um, for the project management part of the act uh, for Brit for twelve hundred dollars in terms of like project management, which would come from our CAC budget. So that's the one that's to reach DC, correct? HTC. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So maybe they're going to have to try to. Right. Because the money's not actually coming through the right. city. That's right. Yeah. Right. So you want to check with that. Jack, but yeah. That's even All right. Let me talk to HTC. Let's, let's we'll figure this out. Mm -hmm. If those things, those coordination, you know, tasks take so much of the time, I think it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's, I guess. 
them to right. you know support that. Right. And so it's done right, and you know. Right. And then you go out and you put the squares on the on the, uh, on the sidewalk, and then people send you emails about why they're squares on the sidewalk. Wow. Yeah, all those emails take a long time. <laughs> so, and it's so just polite to you. <laughs> So okay, fine. So I will go back on that for the HTC. I mean, the other option, I guess, is the only is the CAC budget itself. But I will go back and ask the HTC on that. All right. Um, the other items we have here, I do not see anything that is. Um, yes, we have Arbor Day in spring. We have Arbor Day in fall. City park starts. Oh, and by the way, folks. So I also send you a. Uh, Excel spreadsheet of the agenda where I put in notes and updates, right? Um, some items which are over, uh, there's another tab called closed. So I take those items and move them all into the closed tab nice. in case you want to go back and have a look at items that we actually closed. It is available for you, um, anyway, which I think I'm going to move to the city parks director, unless you want to keep this as an open action item. City parks director, or should we move it to closed or? I wouldn't say it's closed. Sure. I, I would. We'll leave it open. Yeah. Until there's more movement, maybe in the fall. Um. All right. Wait, so, city parks director. That's different than the fifteen thousand from landscape architect this year. Yes. Yes. Okay. The, the city parks is a full is a is a real position. Yeah. Right. Has that been formed officially? No. Okay, we're just in the initial conversation about it, guys. Yeah, we're still trying to get them to do it. So is the goal timeline for 2024? It has to go in the next budget. Yeah. Right, for 2024. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it would yeah. yeah. be huge. It'd be a big deal. Um, right, I mean, they have one in Kingston, so. It makes a lot of sense. Yes. All right, um, that's all the other, unless I'm paid for by the city. But that fit, yes, thank you. Would you like to speak up on that, Mr. Oh, yeah. Did you check what I said to you on that? Yes, I, well, I don't, I don't know that. Okay. I don't know. It's um, funded by the, the person who is the parks director, funds the position by the grants that I believe that she goes out and obtains. Oh, what? The city has paid nothing towards it. So the, we had an opportunity to do that here, but it was right. passed. So wait, the director has to find grants to pay their own salary. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what it's based on. So million dollars worth of grants, highest paid parks director mm -hmm. in the state. But that's just like mm, career change. No, I'm like yeah. writing grants is like Ugh. that's yeah. a lot of work. Then on top of writing the entire city's parks department, that's a lot of pressure. Same. Into a yeah. It's a high pressure life here in city politics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where those grants came from? The Kingston? Well, oh. or you said it was available here at one point. Yeah. Back to, somebody wanted to do the same thing here. Um, no, but the person who here wanted to do it knew it, you know, knows the whole parks, worked for parks, and knew exactly, you know, what's out there. Yeah, you have to know how to play that game. Yeah, yeah. Really so maybe it's a conversation with the uh, parks to her, the parks person who is uh, in Kingston to see. Maybe we'll see them at the mixer. Yeah, maybe we'll see them at the mixer. That's why we need to go. There you go. So there you go. So it's <laughs> Julie Noble would be a good person to talk to. Okay. That's her. Yeah, yeah. 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 She was at the last mixer. See? Julie. 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 All right, well, we will, we will seek, her, seek her out. She marries on there. Um, okay, so I think that's all I really have. That's. Um, Unless anyone has any other issues that are urgent, then we can move on to or move back to Mr. Wallace's presentation. Yeah. Oh, I'm up now. You're up. All right. Michael, can you pull up the ones that are labeled Heliascope? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, uh, Michael will update the site and send these all out to you after. So, about a year ago, or maybe a little bit less than, I came and I spoke to you all about the options of trying to take off water and sewer in total from city expenses. Mm -hmm. So um, in the past year, with some of the federal acts that have been passed by Congress, we actually have an opportunity right now to start getting more grants uh, as well as the <coughs> climate action grants that uh, I know that we've been sort of amassing and watching our point system on. So 
the cost of the solar has gone down. The financing terms have increased in attraction to us. And so I've had Suncom redo um, the two estimates that we have. So the first one that Michael has up here in front of you is um, for the Dock Street location. So this is the old bus garage that DPW runs currently. The goal, based on the consumption of the water treatment facility, the reservoir station at the top of Rossman Avenue, as well as the three pump stations that bring water in from the Churchtown Reservoir, we've aggregated, the, the closest that we have is the 2020 bills, because we're back into the before times and, and operations. Um, we've been able to figure out exactly how large of the solar arrays that we need on each and the time that it will take to actually put money in and receive money back. So Michael, if you scroll down a little bit more, there's a proposed vision of what these would look like. Keep going to that image at the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. So effectively that would be the array. The information is in this helioscope that they've been able to calculate the exact angle um, and the return, projected return based on a very conservative cost per kilowatt hour. And what I mean by that is we estimated in total, I'll get into the total pricing for this plan afterwards, that the price of solar would be around mm, 11 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, right now it's averaging between 13 and 15 cents, which means based on the more that we use or the more that we generate and sell back to the grid, the quicker that these projects can be paid off. Can you pull up the Rossman one quickly? Just as a reminder for everybody, the other place that we looked at is the fallow field behind the reservoir um, that borders the cemetery currently. Is that the, yep. And so as Michael gets the situated, so currently you can see in the map in the upper right hand corner there, um, there's a lot of real estate that borders this. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see that there's two proposed installations that would yield, and we'll go into pricing after this, um, what we need in order to take water and sewer off. So that entire field, that field on the right, that borders uh, one of the cemetery access roads, and then the main plant building you can see over there on the left, um, poking out of the one little area of the corner is that abandoned, it used to be the uh, DPW commissioner, so that's where Charlie Butterworth lived for years um, is sticking out there as well. Is that the big empty like uh, shallow pond? Sorry. That, so that was, that's what's covered over. That's the dome. The dome is the reservoir because we're grabbing oh, that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So between these two systems, Michael, can you pull up the Excel chart that was in the email, I believe? Uh, Unless it, 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 it might have come through. Yes, that's exactly it. So I crunched the numbers and effectively, it is obviously a cost to put out. So what we would be looking at combined for the two systems is just over about a million dollar investment. Now, there are obviously the climate action grants that we have. My next step is I'm actually taking this uh, to Dee Dee Barrett because Dee Dee this year is now the chair of the solar committee for the state. And so being able to get the guidance of how to navigate the state budgets, let alone the federal um, grant processes may yield more of what we need in terms of the upfront cost. Now, again, two ways that we can look at doing this. Do we try to obviously get as many grants as possible to pay for this? The other sort of um, variable that Tom is gonna look into for me and thank you in advance is talking to Rob Perry about the situation of the bus garage roof. Will it be able to handle the infrastructure if we put it on top of it? Because we're not gonna put a, you know, quarter of a million dollar investment on something that may not be able to, to hold it. Mm -hmm. um, if it comes down to replacing that roof, let's figure out what the cost of that is as well. All of these though, apply for not only the federal climate action grants, but also the New York State DEC grants. And there are grants that I have found that specifically if you can use solar to impact your other sustainable measures like water conservation in the city, you have like a 10x chance of being accepted into the program and they're over the tune of a million dollars each. Nice. Now, where do you all come in? So this is where I need some help because I do not have the bandwidth. So the first is, Tom is already gonna head us off at the pass on checking on the roof and the infrastructure. In order for the council to even consider moving forward with anything like this, we need to have at least one or two additional solar companies 
provide an estimate akin to what some comments done. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if any of you have connections or know of folks that would be able to do that. You can pass along this information to them, but I need at least two others to come to the table. Okay. So if you do, that'd be great because we just basically need them to produce the estimates to be able to move forward with it. It's effectively our procurement process. Um, I'm extending the invitation to anybody who wants to join me once I get the meeting set with Didi to talk about what hoops we need to go through through the state. And then, of course, the last piece is I will need help with the grant writing capabilities to see what we can put forward. So I think effectively what we would need to package for the council is deciding out of the three recommendations we would have, which we move forward, which one we would recommend moving forward with. Tom will be able to figure out the infrastructure cost of what the garage would be. We may be able to wrap up the grant costs into covering that if it's a possibility, but ultimately packaging it with the recommendation that hopefully if we can get permission to move forward with the grants like we have done with other resolutions, we're able to pass a resolution to move forward with the application for the grant and should that be accepted and move forward with the process of installing the solar. If we do not move forward with any grant money, how much does it cost and how when? Well, Michael, if you go over to the right hand side a little bit more and zoom in right there. So effectively it's about 59,000 is what we need. We've averaged it out to figure that if we were to just eat the cost now and start paying the leases after the installation costs, by year 10, we are cash flow positive. We will have generated, actually technically in year 11, based on that very conservative cost of solar, um, it would be by year 11 that we would be seeing a net profit um, and in some year years, possibly even additional profit by being able to sell more energy back into the grid. And it would cover all municipal electricity? Not all municipal electricity. It covers the costs of our running our water and sewage. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I tried to compartmentalize what we could take offline. Okay. Um, they were already starting to get um, a little ambitious on the, project, on the project as well. Um, they were looking at 701 Union, the police station, mm -hmm. um, and they've also figured that, I, I don't have it with us for tonight because I figured let's focus on this first. Um, they figured out what the array would be to take that offline with battery backup power for the station, which would be a, uh, a need and a requirement as well, because especially if you're holding anybody overnight, you have to have yeah. all those stipulations. So I need some help to move this beast up the hill a little bit more. Well, at some point, I think we take it to the verge our grant writers. Yeah. So would this fall underneath the capability for that? Oh, okay. absolutely. Okay. I wasn't yeah. sure if, yeah. if we had the permission to go that. And the more we have ready, the better. Yeah. So, the, I mean, the first, Vanessa, if you know another solar company that can bid this. I wonder if Michael O'Hara is probably better suited to. Michael, darling, do you have help for me on this? <laughs> yes, I, I'm, I'll send you a couple. I can't hear you. Is there something wrong? If we can get three bids and look at them comparatively, that's also what I'd like to take into DE for her guidance on which one of the state DEC grants uh, and the newly established solar grants we would be viable for. What about nice sort of also to they have, have some potential? I have not actually talked to them or tied into them because there is an existing deal going on and I didn't want to convolute. Thing. The nice serta stuff. So. Oh. And well, we've got both NIPA and nice serta right now, but yeah. So I think that um, Michael and Vanessa will be better help it. The one that I would recommend is Suncommon. That's who I've that, yeah. So they, that's covered, and I don't have others to recommend, but between Vanessa and Michael, that'll be covered. I am, I will volunteer to be. Some other kind of help that you Thank would you. discover you need. Okay. I think we'll have to look, you might want to think of Laverge first because they, of course, identify funding sources. Yeah. And then going to TV because then you want her to be your advocate for the, you know. I haven't brought them into this meeting. I have a list that I've compiled already on the side. I didn't know that if I, I'd be able to tap those grant mm -hmm. writers, though. Sure. So that's yeah. great. 
So, the, but the step one is I, we need to find two other bits. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My contact used to work in solar in the area, but as since moved to Vermont, I think it still works like across New York region. Would but the Green Mountain that works. I don't know. Okay. He's worked for many different companies. Uh, so I have an inside scoop, but they're not local um, per se. So I, I, that's why I mentioned Michael might have more relevant comments. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I'd love to keep the dollars you know, in the county if possible, yeah. but at the same time, this needs to be efficient in two ways, right? It's the quality of what the installation is going to be that lasts us the longest possible time yeah. against what type of panels people are using that are going to return the better value so that mm -hmm. the project realizes net positive dollars faster. Mm -hmm. The one thing my friend did, because I, I mentioned this to him like a year ago or whatever, and he, you know, we were exploring the ideas of rooftops, and he mentioned that when he did a bunch of assessments in Hudson, most of the rooftops were not near adequate no. and would need a lot of repair to hold that weight. Yep. Yeah, I, I hadn't considered that, but you know. The bus garage is an anomaly because it's it's a, it's all the cinder block and steel beam structure. Wow. And yeah, so that, I mean, that thing was built to withstand a lot so i mean i'm i'm hoping that if we can ask rob and it's in good shape that's a major cost that's off of our plates mm -hmm. the i don't know the site well that fallow field you mentioned as another mm -hmm. alternative is that former ag land or is it just no, that's connected that has always been um the reservoir for hudson okay. so it used to be known as <laughs> because it was a wind powered turbine to hold pull the water up mm -hmm. um but that is then it was the Mount Rayo Reservoir. Um, it's, this system's been gravity fed since they established it. Are your neighbors kind of checked? They've not brought that up to them yet. Who are the neighbors? Yes. Mount Rayo State's Homeowner yeah. Association is up there, but it's also there. It is wooded enough. Like there is a very mm -hmm. thick tree line that oh. the city owns. And I just was actually up there yesterday for the HOA meeting. Oh can't see into what that's going to be and in the, the warmer seasons the leaves yeah there's there's no intrusion on view and everything is on a down slope so it won't be in anybody's direct line of sight right. i mean unless i mean and it's hudson unless you know some dead people in the city cemetery start raising their voices hi well, yeah that's, that's <laughs> what i mean it's very very christopher yes but plus people are kind of Josh, used this to is a buffer zone that has to be around the reservoir that yeah. can't be used for anything else right mm -hmm. oh. the, the one thing that we would need to check with Flowers. rob as well though too is that the cistern as i understand it is actually just vertical it's not a bulb shape and as long as it's not bulb shaped then we're not in the risk of putting additional weight on mm -hmm on the hill that would impact the water. But this is everything that we sat through the Nikon presentations last year. This is the intersection of exactly what the state wants to see environmental funding go toward. Cool. All right. Great. Great. So, so the next steps are Michael Harris is going to give you some contact information. Yep. And then Michael, if you know them personally, and you, you've got my city email, ryan.wallace at cityofhudson.org. If you want to just provide the introduction, um, I will keep you on the thread so that the two of us can keep that moving. And then Vanessa, same thing. I mean, if you want yeah. to just bring it in, because I, I can cut and paste what I've provided to some comment. And then Michael, you'll take care of uploading these documents to the CAC site tonight. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So then for everybody, the, the documentation will be online. They can refer to it there. But it's kind of like the RFP before the RFP. So, not a lot, but the money on the table right now is a lot better because of the current administration. Yeah. So. It just sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Yeah. And maybe we can have you back in maybe like a month or two, or a month or so for a you know, second make appearance. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Great. Um, I had a, any, anything else on that? No, it's no. very exciting though. It's great. Thank you very much for all that work. It's yeah. it's doable. That's why I mean, like I'd love, like you're saying, I'd love to figure out how to take all municipal offline though, but we just don't have the Maybe the steps. real estate to do it, right? And that's why this is compartmentalized. This is achievable. We know the fixed cost or the rough fixed right. costs. Mm -hmm. So if everything goes smoothly and beautifully according to plan, right? Uh best case scenario, when do you foresee that? they right now installation time they said that they could be up 
within two years tops. Okay, that's great. So it's it's not a long wait to get it installed. Really, for us, it's all of the red tape of getting the agreement, getting the buy-in. You know, it's all if we end up footing the bill to start, like that's a large public sum of money yeah. to commit. It's knowing though that intent it's a 10-year commitment before we start seeing the return results and achieving more net zero yeah. green, which is what we want anyway. So right. And that's with the costing as it is currently and not going. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's everything that was on that spreadsheet that you'll have access to is without any grant funding that. Mm -hmm. And that's where I feel like we have a very attractive opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so we, I believe we would get something for it. That's great. Good. So Michael, right, you can send those documents over and we'll upload that and we'll put them in the share drive. And that's great. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so let's move on. I think we had a few, just a couple other items. Thousand Cities campaign. No updates. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> it's not great. Well, <laughs> no, it's not Chad, bad. I mean, there are thousand, there's not even one. City. <laughs> so, I mean, this is this also this kind of a project would also really. Contribute to that. Yeah, that's what the solar. Yeah. As well as like, uh, I have no update for the climate vulnerability and assessment of climate action plan. I haven't seen any follow up. Uh, <laughs> <if you want. laughs> I went to the first meeting, but yeah, I don't see any follow up on that one either. There's supposed to be a second meeting. The, the solar energy of Hudson's sculpting diagram that I'm taking off the agenda because, as opposed as Michael Harris said last month, is that it, we, there is no more solar. Right. right. Okay, so that one I'm removing. There's no more solar campaign happening as of right now. Oh, the Washington, I have, no, I have no update on the Washington 7th Street if anyone wants to. Follow up with that one. I have no update on that one as of yet. Were we just trying to understand what was what happening? The what, what he's putting, what's being put what's in, being right. in there? Yeah, I have no update. And the fact that there's no sort of retaining structure mm -hmm. yet um, vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And where's this? Like the, right out here. The, the oh, the, 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 the slope down. Yeah. But if you go to Oakdale parking lot and see it from that side. Oh, it's kind of. It's, it's, all, it's precarious. It's all fill. Well, what is in the fill, fill and then the watershed, and then implications on Oakdale and campers <laughs> and air quality. Even more directly. Totally. Yeah, yeah. The, technically the watershed, but that technically goes to Oakdale, not Oakdale. Yeah, but right. still, air quality. I mean, there's campers there. There's, I yeah. It, well, I have questions. <laughs> I, I have questions too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, and if we were to get a grant to do something with that property for green infrastructure, right. then <laughs> there's going to end up being probably a um, seeker review sure. of whatever's Absolutely. out there. So if we could find out now. If well, you does the idea of that lot to be parking for a pocketbook factory or? Maybe. Okay. They should probably pay you go for the ground. <laughs> and they—they're they, willing to work with us on that. Great. I mean, they made it clear that if we came up with a, um, a design for a completely cool green parking lot, like permeable and all yeah. that, that'd yeah. be great. Oh, that'd be great. So we'll yeah, I had chargers. That that would be super cool. Yeah, I know. It would you be know. Super cool. I mean, yeah. But you know, that's where they dump snow. I noticed that today when I was at Oakdale. Yeah. Would you mind following up with Rob Kelly? Because you know more about that. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> he's, he's giving Vanessa more work. See if Vanessa wants to follow up more because I know that I, you can talk to this issue better than I can. Uh, I want to say sure so badly, and I just started two new jobs this week. So okay. I'm a little hesitant to add more to my plate. So sure with question mark. Yeah. You know, I mean, Let's go for a walk at Oakdale. If you see, yeah, I mean, if you see Ron Barry Dawson around, just ask him. I'll put a question mark. Sure. I'm um, sure, like TBD, just maybe That's like. Cool. Uh, okay. Sure, it's not TBD. the most pressing thing on our agenda right now. Exactly. Um, but I think it's he's, definitely a conversation. He has claims in public that it's clean. But how do we know that? Exactly. People say things all the time. I'd like evidence. Uh, see, you're, see, you're, you're on it. 
So before before we close up here, folks, we got five more minutes. Uh, Mix your event April uh, the Earth Day, April twenty second, tabling at the farmers market. But any other events you want to talk to this issue, April Earth Day. Um, I think it's still in the planning process, but with the idea of some sort of uh, green drinks sort of after the activities at the waterfront at the Hudson Brewery at four o'clock. So still working out some of the details, some of the planning has should we do the bit. Green, should we have? Mm -hmm. The color green or no? Anyone any environmentalists out there who want to join and, and socialize? Um, South Park. Sorry. Trying to. All right. More, more on that too. All right, Nathan is not here. He's going to talk about the government home career. Um, and uh, the heating I talked about, uh, click off a climate. Uh, we did that. We talked about the kick off. The kick off. So, all right, I have um, anything else? Um, just logistics for the Earth Day event. We're going to be running two different tables at similar times. Will we have one banner? Oh, we, we have, have one like banner. It's in my office. Do you have time to make another? We can make another. I have like old drop pods. Do we have the? <laughs> do we have the uh, the what the, uh, the the file that was used for the, the like logo? logo? Or um, no, I don't have that file. Um, but Dale Schaefer might. I think that he probably organized that, well, and it was done at uh, Pro Printers. I'm just wondering also, yeah, like, it, depending on how much it costs, if you know, how often are we going to be stuck in the situation of being in two simultaneous spaces at once? Right, so we need another banner. We get a smaller banner. Yeah. Right. I mean, you get a nice tablecloth and you just put some flowers on. People are going to come talk to you, you know? Yeah, we just got some uh, printed out some flyers. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's worth a budget item. Like, Fair I much. mean, I don't think long term it's going to. But we should have our logo. I should, should, sure. should stick it in the share folder. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's I'll, why we had this discussion. I'll go back to Dale and get our logo. Oh, no, I can I can supply the logo, but oh. then the whole layout for the banner, oh. I think, is probably at Pro Printers. So we don't have to bug Dale about it, probably. But um, I do have the logo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you know what? Let's, if you, yeah, if you get, we'll, we'll put in the, send it to me, we'll put it in the share, we'll put it in SharePoint this way. If anyone needs it in the future, so it'll be available. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, that sounds good. All right, um, that's all she wrote. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Anything new? Anything new? Pressing? Uh, wait, did we talk about the fifteen thousand dollars for the landscape architect consultant? We have no information. More. I have no update on that. Okay. You have Rob agreed. Need to hire Britt for out of that budget. For oh, that would be one great. Project. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, uh, she'd be like the best person. Right, I know. Uh, for, for one of the projects that needed some consultant. I think national, it was a national. National grade one? Set. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. There's so many projects for trees. So, is there, a, is, is there an action on our part here for that? Or? No. No. Got the money to allocate them. Oh, I think it I, isn't that stuck with the national grid grant that wasn't part of the the funds that DPW was looking to or one of the things that DPW wanted to hire Brit for was actually to uh, had to do with pruning street trees and getting professional advice and and oh. how to limb things up so that the but snow. Right. I mean, I think it was coming out of that. That's oh, okay. That's what that I is. didn't realize yeah. that. Like providing training to them. Yes. Yeah. That was a question I had in the comments. Was like, what are the current BBW practices for maintaining the trees? Like, how are they trained? Is there an art risk? How are they going about it? You know. She went around with Ronnie to yeah. look at all these, and they were suitably impressed, and said she could, you know, engage her to do it in the future. Yeah, right? you're you're correct, Hillary. I was I was wrong. Sounds wonderful. All right. So, also, that so, that's, so it's a DPW decision. Is that it? It's a DPW decision. So that gets closed. Mm -hmm. that, oh, then well, that's closed. Thank you. Look at you. Thanks for that tab. Great.
All right. Um, anything else that I might have missed? Never. And we're not talking. We're not touching these other issues, right? You could, if you have an update. I got nothing to. I have nothing. No. And it's like seven o'clock, so. But um, so a little on municipal hardscape we talked about. Uh, city parks management recommendation. Uh, oh, recommendation. L Should we talk about the LWRP? No. Um, oh, that's what the fun one to talk about at the last How much minute. time do we have? Like, negative one minute. Yeah. Um, I, 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 we covered a lot. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, you know. Motion to close. Unless, unless anyone has any other issues to bring up. I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. <laughs> Second. Motion uh, carried. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? No. There you go. It's another one of the folks, but I think that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank